Well, they never got into, it was more of a comedy, they never got into witches' ceremonies or Sabbaths or anything like that. Last night, a person asked me to watch who had gotten to read the script of the new one, Tabitha. So I watched it. It had witchcraft all through it. Real witchcraft. Ceremonies, Halloween, everything. They're coming out stronger now. You better watch what your kids turn on the TV set. There hasn't been a witchcraft movie that had anything to do with Satan in the last five years that Satan didn't win openly in the picture. Tabitha, bewitched. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. I've got reports on it. I was in witchcraft back then. I know what was going on. Yeah. Uh, wasn't there a woman who had a lot to do with the show by the name of Louise Hubner? That's my foster mother. Yeah. What now? Usually through the, see, the Illuminati names not used much anymore, except by everyday people who find out about it. Witches don't use it. The organization doesn't use it. And each country has its, yeah. the Mariah is the occult part, and the political part has a name in each country. And the United States is called the Council of Foreign Relations. That's mainly how they got into it. They mainly got into it because you can't become a president. You may think you elect a president, but I'm here to tell you, you elect whoever they put up. And when I was saved in 72, I got on a television broadcast that went throughout southern Texas, New Mexico, and so on. And it, they still got the tape down. It was on a talk show called The Seven Club in the morning. And I had a minister from the church there with me, Ed Human. And they asked me the political aspect that would be happening. Now, this was the election of Nixon and McGovern at the time. And I said a few things I don't want to really get into right now because we don't have the time. But one of the things I said was that the last election that would happen, the president, the next one that was coming up, the one that just happened, the president that would be elected would be the last president elected in the United States. That doesn't mean it'll be the last election. It just means he'll be the last president. And that when he was elected, he was so important to be elected that the person who would run against him would also be Illuminati. That they wouldn't allow anybody else to get the nomination from the other party and that he would purposely do everything during his campaign, the other party, in this case Ford, to throw that election. And if you'll look back on it, I think you'll see things that he did that threw, that lost many, many votes. And then he almost won anyway. I think it would have been disastrous if he had won to them, not to us. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, yeah. We have talked with Reagan's son and other people, and they have told us of violent threats, bribes, death threats, assassination attempts, and everything that never reached the news media that went on during the uh, nomination thing for the Republican Party. Yeah. It ain't easy. I've got a first grader that uh, went to school and every day she came home she said daddy here it is throw it in the trash can during the Halloween season the goblins the ghosts the witches the stuff they cut out she understood she says oh well Thanksgiving and Christmas is coming up she understood Halloween had absolutely nothing to do with Christianity Christians shouldn't even touch it with a 10 foot pole it comes from the word shaman uh, which means the day the dead come back and talk it was invented by witches, capitalized on by the Catholics, but nothing in it has to do with Christians. Nothing. Who wants to celebrate a day that witches sacrificed thousands of people throughout the world on? Yes. White magic and black magic is a Catholic term. When they were burning people at the stake for being witches, they wanted to protect themselves that practiced it. So they invented the term white witchcraft or white magic and black magic. Witches, in their books, will tell you that it doesn't exist, as it was mentioned in Star Wars. And yet, when they're trying to convert a Christian, they will say they're white witch and not a black witch. And yet they'll tell you in their books it doesn't exist. Which means they'll say anything to convert you. 
but uh, there is no such thing. The devil is evil, and you can't whitewash him or anything he does. You can call it ESP, but it's still witchcraft. Yes. Hypnosis is of the devil. Plain and simple. Yeah. charismatic realm theirs is feeling and not word I go into charismatic churches and speak I know and I want to tell you something there. they can't understand why they have no young people they can't understand why the young people are practicing witchcraft it's because they've never been taught the word they've been trying to give a form of discipline without love strong discipline no love to go with it and no word just emotion and then they wonder why somebody is saved three months and then in the world three months later a good example of this is Melody Land. It's got to probably be one of the worst churches in Calvary Chapel in the United States. Because it gives absolutely, they have a whole Bible college. They teach nothing but emotion. In theory, they don't teach the Word. Well, as long as you, one thing real quick here. Satanists believe in Satan. Witches do not. And there is a difference. Witches are taught that Satan and hell is a lie. I was saved for hours before I ever knew there was a devil. I concentrate on the scripture. I concentrate on the 16th chapter of Acts and Rome, I mean the Ephesians 6, 12, the 18th chapter of Deuteronomy. Please don't quote, oh, uh, we suffer a witch to die. Please don't quote that. Let me stare him to death. But uh, work on the love and work on the scripture, but leave the devil and hell out of it if they're a witch. How much? Uh, certain groups use it. Other groups don't touch it. Okay? In fact, it's capital punishment to touch it. The death sentence. But uh, some use it, but they twist it. They Johnny, take it out of context. A little time. Stay here just a moment, Johnny. Uh, <clears throat> during the preaching service, which will start in about five minutes, I'm going to be preaching a message on the real cure for witchcraft and all bondage. And uh, we invite you to stay for that. Then at 11.15, uh, Johnny Todd will speak again in this building and we'll have him continue from where he has uh, left off so that he will not be repeating himself. You can ask more questions. So if you'll just stay through the preaching service at uh, 11.15, the second uh, Sunday school session will start and uh, Johnny Todd will continue from uh, the point of having left off. But first, I'd like to ask just a couple of questions, Johnny. Uh, a few years ago, I became interested in the subject of Freemasonry, and I'm wondering, is the witchcraft initiation anything like the uh, Masonic initiation? First level witchcraft and first level masonry initiation is identical. The only difference is that my wrist was cut and I signed a blood pack, and that I was nude, and they are clothed. That's the only difference. The words, the acts, the tying, the blindfold, the charge, everything, even the pledge of secrecy is exactly the same. There's no difference. And the sixth level initiation of witchcraft blood sacrifice is the same initiation to the highest level of masonry, the 35th. It's called the right of the warrior on the block. 35th degree. The 31st degree, which most of our politicians are 35th degree masons. Yeah. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no such thing as a warlock. If you're witnessing to a witch, please... Unless it's a Satanist, please call him a wizard or a witch. If you've got to call him anything except idiot. Uh, well, that's true. I was an idiot. I mean, anybody that's in it is. But uh, go ahead, finish your question. They don't believe in hell. They believe they, when they die, they will come back in another life. Okay? In other words, it's deception. All right. Now again, Johnny Todd will speak here again at 11:15. So after a year's worth of training.